In this video, I'll show you the best and easiest way to build a one product Shopify store. If you clicked on this video, you're likely trying to launch your one product Shopify store pretty soon. And there are many ways to do it, but this is in my opinion, the best way. So I'll take you step by step on how to pick a winning product, how to set up a high converting one product Shopify store. And I'll be showing you exactly how to do this with an AI store builder, which by the way, is completely free to use and will save you hours and hours of your own time. I'll take you through the best way to fulfill and ship out your product using Zendrop and also show you how to to market and scale effectively. So I hope you guys can follow along. I'll have a bunch of helpful links down below. And I really encourage you to just use this AI store builder because you also get a free trial to Shopify. So let's get started. So the first step, of course, is to pick a winning product. Of course, if you have a one product store, the product that you're selling is extremely important. And what we want to focus on is simplicity and need. It needs to be a simple but effective website. And the product needs to have a lot of value and really be able to solve one specific problem. When we do this correctly, a one product store is going to have a much higher conversion rate and it's going to have a lot stronger branding. So this is a perfect way to get started with e-commerce. And of course, you can always add more products later on. But yeah, let's talk about how you can actually find the right product. So for me, all I care about is it needs to solve a problem and sort of be like emotionally compelling. It needs to focus on solving a clear problem that other people have. And so it's sort of like this. Here's the problem. Here's why this product solves it perfectly. And here's why you need it right now. This is going to help us so much later on when it comes to our marketing because it's going to make content and ads a lot easier. And that's really what's going to help scale our store. It also helps to have a product that has high perceived value and good profit margins. Also, it cannot be found easily in retail stores. Otherwise, people are just going to go to a store and buy it. It needs to be unique and different. So as far as where to find winning products, check out TikTok trends and hashtags. TikTok shop right now is a fantastic place to find a lot of like very trending products to sell. You can also look at what Facebook ads people are running because a lot of those products are selling quite well. You can also think about the things that you yourself want or use and put some type of spin on it to make it more custom or a better version of what's out there already. Or you can simply choose from Zendrop's product recommendations. And yes, if you guys build a store using the AI store builder, which is completely free, by the way, it's going to come preloaded with 10 trending products that you can sell right away. Now let's talk about exactly how to build your one product Shopify store. If you guys click on the link down below, it's going to take you to this exact landing page. It's called storebuild.ai. And essentially it allows you to create a full store in about five five minutes. Guys, when I was building my first Shopify store, I literally spent probably 30, 40, 50 hours on it. And it still did not look as good as the ones that you can build in five minutes with this. I want to reiterate that this is completely free. And it also comes with an exclusive trial to Shopify. So it literally doesn't make sense not to use this. And yeah, I'm going to take you guys through exactly how to do it. So hopefully you guys can follow along. So the first thing you're going to do is pick your niche. And if you don't know what niche you want to do yet, just click on need inspiration and we'll click on build my free store. So now we're going to enter in our information and we'll click on claim your store. So for the niche, let's click on need inspiration click next. We're going to choose our colors. So choose any of these. I'm going to go ahead and choose green for this one. We're going to pick a banner. So let's go ahead and pick this one. You can change this at any time. Now, after about five, 10 seconds, your store is going to be ready. And we'll click on claim my store now. Now we're going to create our Shopify account. So essentially you just need to follow these directions. With this, we'll get that free trial. And you're also going to get the Shopify basic plan for $1 for three months. That is an incredible deal. So we're going to click on this right here. We'll enter in our email, click on start free trial. And we're actually just going to skip this customized setup. We'll create a password and click on on create Shopify account. For the plan to choose, I just recommend going with the basic plan for now. You can always upgrade later on. It's also the cheapest. You'll enter in your credit card information right here and click on subscribe. And now we're gonna get into our dashboard and we'll go back to that original tab. Click on next right here. Now we're gonna link our Shopify store to the builder. So we'll click on access Shopify URL. We're going to copy this right here, come back here, paste it right here and click save. Now we'll click on next. Now we're gonna get our 10 winning products. So we'll click on this button here. We'll click Click install. So this is to get Zendrop. We'll click install here. So now we're gonna have to add in our payment method. This is just for once the trial ends. So click on add credit card, click on approve here. And yeah, that basically gets us a trial to Zendrop plus. It's gonna be super, super helpful for you to build your store. And it comes with a bunch of other free education and stuff. So I really recommend having it. At least try it out for the trial. And if you want to cancel, you can absolutely do that. Now we're gonna come back here and click on receive store. It might require you to actually verify that you have a Shopify plan. So go ahead and do that and click on subscribe. Again, this is for the Shopify trial and we'll come back here, click on verify my Shopify plan. And now we'll click on go live here. Now the AI is going to publish and connect the store to your Shopify account. Let's click on next. And now we're going to remove our password. So we'll click on this button right here. We're going to uncheck this box here and click on save. So now our store can be visited by anyone online. After that, we'll come back here and click on make my first sale. I do recommend claiming your free TikTok ad credits because you probably
probably will want to do this in the future. And this is a very exclusive deal that's only for my audience. You get a ton of free ad credits. Yeah, it's literally like free money. Just click on this and then click get started and then enter in your info here. I'm not gonna get too into this for this video. So now let me show you guys what the store currently looks like. So if we click on online store right here, we'll first wanna come here to view your store. So this is what the initial draft of your one product Shopify store looks like. As you can see, of course it has multiple products, but all we're gonna do is remove the ones we don't want to sell. And we're gonna center everything around one specific product. Let's come down here to customize. And here we can easily edit our store. Shopify has a very easy to use editor that's very self-explanatory. Essentially, you can click on things you want to change. So for example, this image banner right here, we can click on it. You can look through all these different options. Any of this stuff, we can change the text very easily. We can change the icon if you want. You can delete sections. You can also add sections too by clicking on this and choosing any of these pre-made templates. For example, if we want to do something like this, that's going to insert it right here. At any point, we can delete this quite easily by clicking on remove section. The Zendrop theme comes with a testimonial section, which is quite important. So I do recommend having this. It also has an email called action, which is going to be extremely important for building your business. Emails where you can get recurring sales from your past clients or from anyone that's shown interest. And yeah, if you do it right, a lot of your sales are going to come from your email marketing. Now, at any point, what we can do is exit this. There are tons and tons of other themes that you guys can choose from. But for most of you guys, I think the Zendrop theme is going to be perfect. Of course, customize it to how you like, add your own images and logos, but just know that there are a ton of other free themes available on Shopify. If you come here to settings, you'll also want to go through all of these tabs right here and make sure these settings are correct. Payments you'll want to set up. I just recommend using Shopify payments at the start. You can also add PayPal and other methods as well. Feel free to configure your checkouts. You can select your different types of shipping and delivery. Domains are also important, so I definitely recommend getting a domain. You can connect an existing domain if you have one already, or you can buy a new domain directly within Shopify. You can also add different languages if you want to sell in multiple countries. And then under policies, I recommend coming here, clicking on all of these that aren't, you know, fully done yet, and just clicking on insert template. Of course, change anything that needs to be changed and click on publish. And yeah, just do that for all of these. Now I'm going to show you guys Zendrop. This is basically where we're going to select our product and also configure all the fulfillment and shipping stuff. For this one, I'm just going to go with electronics and tech, but feel free to choose whatever. You can also click on not sure yet if you don't have a niche. So with Zendrop Plus, it comes with the winning products for this month. And I like how these are updated constantly. So you're never selling like outdated things. We can always click save for later, but I'm going to choose one of these. Let's go ahead and do this one. So I'm basically going to uncheck everything else. Just know that if you want to sell multiple things, you can leave these all checked. It's really easy just to import it to your store. So that one is the only one checked. So we'll click on publish to store. Let's click on this right here. So this is our main dashboard for Zendrop. If we come here to my products and then we click on store listings and sourcing, we'll find that product that we originally saw. As you can see, this product is already linked. So that's great. And all these other ones, if you don't want to have them on your store, we'll click on this button right here, click on unlink and just do that for all of them. At any point, you can come here to the trending product section and we can check out all the trending products that are sold right now and available on Zendrop. So yeah, Zendrop, it's really amazing. They handle all the product fulfillment and shipping for you. So essentially all you're doing is driving traffic to your page and you don't need to pack and ship these things yourself. Zendrop does everything. Yeah, like I said, at any point we can come here and see, get inspiration from other products that are selling really well. And they have so much data, so this can actually save you a ton of time. There's also Zendrop Academy, which is really, really important. I guarantee you, if you look through the included videos and courses, you're gonna have a much higher chance of being successful with your store. They have a ton of coaching sessions and resources for you, so I really recommend using this. And also, if you want to actually request a product that you can't find on their catalog, they can basically source anything for you. So essentially, you put a link to the product listing on any site, tell them your daily sales volume, and then click on request. It's pretty cool. If we come back to our Shopify store and we click on products, you're going to see all the different products that we have connected at some point to the store. So this is the one that we want to sell. So I'm going to click on it. As you see, it comes pre-populated with the title, description, as well as images. But I do recommend customizing all of this. Don't just copy directly from what's pre-populated. We need to add things that make it stand out. You're of course going to set your price here. And of course, if we come back here and click on this product, here's where we're going to be able to see the product cost for us. So this one is $16.16 16 as of right now. Shipping is about $10. So this is what we are all in for. If you sell it for, let's say $36, that means you have a $10 profit per sale. So here I'm going to set the price to $49.99. Let's also do $49.99 for this one. We'll click on save. Oh, and let's also add this to our homepage. Going back to our online store, we're going to click on customize. Now, as you can see, we have a featured collection right here. I'm going to click on add 
add section and we're going to click on featured product so the product we're going to select we're going to go to the main product that we're selling and then let's actually remove this section right here so i'm actually going to remove this by clicking on this button it's just going to hide it we'll click on save and one thing i'll say is that you'll really want to make sure that your store looks good on mobile since a majority of your traffic is probably going to come from people on their phones if you don't mess with the template too much it's probably going to look okay just make sure that looks okay it looks fine to me and of course finish customizing your page right so you're going to want to change this you might want to add pages right here put your logo right here you can change the text on this announcement bar change this down here and yeah if you come here to view your store people will be able to see your product on the home page this is the price that we set click add to cart and yeah now we have a v1 of our one product shopify store so now i want to talk a little bit about how you can actually market your one product store so with one product stores the best way to market is going to be using organic marketing strategies like social media as well as building your own email list so the reason why we want to pick a product that really solved some type of issue or evoked some type of emotion people is because it makes creating content a lot easier you're really able to attract attention a lot better because if you think about it, if you have a really boring product content on that boring product is also not going to do well however if we sell something really interesting like the magnetic phone neck holder that is really great to make content about you'll want to make short form content on tiktok and instagram reels these can definitely get organic sales and what you can actually do is have people comment a word on the post and you can set up a dm automation to send them the link to the store you can also use the best performing short form videos to actually create ads and do a paid media strategy that's where those tiktok ads come in handy you can also do influencer marketing send a bunch of free product to influencers and have them make content about it you can also take a ugc content approach have a bunch of ugc creators on retainer doing x videos per month for x dollars a month and then post those on their pages or on your pages or even run ads with them as you're doing all this you definitely want to start building your email list so the zendrop template that i showed it comes with that form to collect emails this is very very important for setting up abandoned cart sequences a lot of people they're going to add your product to their cart and then just not check out and what you can do is actually target these people and be like hey we noticed that you put this in your cart is there a reason you didn't buy you can offer an additional discount whatever it is and that's going to really increase your conversion and sales rate let's talk about some of the most common mistakes and how to actually avoid them when it comes to your one product shopify store so mistake number one is just selling a generic product with no unique angle while this can be a good way to learn you're probably not going to be able to build a real business with a very generic product and so you do need to put some type of custom spin to it have a unique angle put some customization on it or even package it up in some type of unique bundle mistake number two is you have really bad product pages so for example having low quality images no clear call to action a poor product description yeah stuff like that that's why it's really important for you guys to take some time make sure the product page looks as good as possible i create something really quickly for you guys for this video just to demonstrate but you'll want to go in and actually customize this so that i can be a little bit higher quality right with a one product store the product is the hero design the entire site around that one product treat it like it's an iphone launch and everything revolves around it i'm talking like clean design bold images and then also very clear value props make it simple don't have clutter no unnecessary links yeah everything should be centered around that one product another mistake is that a lot of people they only focus on one marketing strategy you'll definitely want to focus on all of them to see what works for this specific one every single product is going to have a different type of platform that it performs best on and yeah you need a test to see which one that is plus while you're doing this you are learning so much a really fantastic way to get into e-commerce and really build your skills as an entrepreneur because trust me all these skills they're going to be applicable to any business that you start in the future and then mistake number four is you forget that a lot of these sales are coming from mobile and if you only focus on your desktop site and making sure that looks okay but not your mobile site then that's going to be a problem so you want to make sure that your website has fast loading times no super tiny buttons no huge walls of text as well as an easy checkout the zendrop theme that gets pre-installed on your store is really optimized for all these things so yeah that's why i think it's a great place to start so yeah that's basically how you create a one product shopify store yes there are other ways to do it you can absolutely just sign up for shopify yourself and build your store that way manually but just to save you guys time with a free ai store builder it's going to allow you to focus on things that matter more which of course is just going to be the marketing because that's the hardest part of any business and yeah don't get too caught up on all the details for your actual store it does not need to look perfect and i think that's something that i wish i didn't do when i first started out i spent way too much time on the website itself but didn't spend enough time on the actual things that matter like marketing so yeah, that's a big takeaway that i want you to have from this video anyways i hope you got a ton of value from the video i know we've covered a lot feel free to watch this video again share it with your friends and yeah the most important thing you guys is that you take action just watch this video follow along take action
action because if you take action, you are already ahead of 99% of people. Like, I don't want this video to be one of those where for every 100 views, only one person takes action. Go out there, do it, experiment, learn. And yeah, I wish you guys all the best of luck. If you got any value from this video, make sure to hit that like button or also subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, finance, and just all things that help you live a financially successful life. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.